कुंज बिहारी गोपी जना वल्लभा गिरिवरधारी गोपी जना वल्लभा गिरिवरधारी यशोदानंदन रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यमुना यमुनतीरा वनचारी जय राधा माधवा कुंज बिहारी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय श्री कृष्ण किशोरी की श्री श्री जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुभद्रा महारानी की श्री श्री गौर नेताय की श्रील प्रभुपाद की समावेत गौर भक्त वृंद की कलियुग पावन हरिनाम संकीर्तन की नेताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिबोटीज ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिबोटीज All glories to assemble devotees. All glories, all glories, all glories to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya चक्षुभुवन मिलित तस्म श्रीगुर नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोवेष्ट स्थात भूतले 
स्वयं कदाम ददाते स्वपदातिक वंदेहम श्री गुरो श्रीयुतापदकमल श्री गुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जा सह गण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साद्वैत सवदूत पिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादा सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखान्ता नमा ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे नमो महावरण्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदा से कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरत्षे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपि काधा कामोस्तुते तप्तकांचन गौरांगिराधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि वाचाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द श्रीमद भागवत क्लास दिस मॉर्निंग परमात्मा को दिस दिस आई डी माई आई डी वाले ना Are you have any other link? Yeah. What is the link of the Zoom link? Oh. I don't know to put. Ah, okay. And now, okay. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्ट प्राएद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवतुत्तम श्लोक भक्तिर्भवति नैष्ठिकी कृष्णा वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय चंदगोपकुमराय गोविंदय नमो नम बै रेग्युर अटेडेंस द श्रीमद भागवत प्लैस all that is troublesome to the heart is destroyed and irrevocable devotional service to the supreme lord sri krishna is established in the heart of those who faithfully hear the shrimad bhagavatam class daily so let us recite from the 10th canto 70th chapter text number 17 is it written there 17 no sudharma khyam sabham sarvair वृष्णिपरीवादिताषत्यंगषुर्म सुधर्माख्यम सभावि प्राविशत्यंगषुर्म सुधर्माख्या सभावि 
प्राविशत्य संत्यंग षोर्मय सुधर्माख्या सभा वृष्णि पिवार प्राविशत्यन न सत्यंगषोर्मय सुधर्माख्या सभा वृष्टि पिवार प्राविशत्यंगषोर्मय सुधर्माख्या सभा वृष्णि पिवार प्राविशत्यंगषोर्मय माताजी सुधर्माख्या सभा वृष्णि पिवार प्राविशत्यंगषोर्मय सुधर्माख्या सभा वृष्णि पिवार प्राविशत्यंगषोर्मय सुधर्माख्या सभा वृष्णि पिवार प्राविशत्यंगषोर्मय सुधर्माख्या नो न सुधर्मा सभा रॉयल असेंब्ली हॉल सर्व बयाल वृष्णि वृष्णे पिवार अटेडेड प्राविशत हि एंटर्ड यच Nivishthana for those who have entered, na santi do not occur. Anga, my dear king, shut six. Or maya ha waves. Translation and purport by the disciples of His Divine Grace, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada ki. The Lord attended by all the Vrishnis who had entered the Sudarma Assembly Hall, which protects those who enter it. From the six waves of material life, dear King, Papun, Shri Prabhupada writes, it may be remembered that the Sudarma Assembly House was taken away from the heavenly planet and was re-established in the city of Dwaraka. The specific significance of the Assembly House was that anyone who entered it would be free from the six kinds of material pangs, namely hunger, thirst, lamentation, illusion, old age, and death. These are the waves of material existence. and as long as one remained in the assembly house of sudharma he would not be affected by these six material waves in this regard shri dharma swami and vishnu chakravarti thakur explained that when lord krishna would exit separately from each of his many palaces each individual form would be visible to the persons present on those particular place particular palace grounds and to the neighboring residents but not to others then at the gateway path of the sudarma assembly hall all the forms of the lord would merge into a single form and thus he would enter the hall 
I was given one more verse also, right? Oh, 18th also. Tatropa Vishta Paramasa Nevibhur Babha Uswabhasa Kakubho Vabhasa Yan Pritondra Samhair Yadu Bheer Yadu Tama Yatodu Rajo Divita Raka Ganaihi as the Almighty Supreme Lord would seat Himself upon His exalted throne there in the assembly hall, He shone with His unique effulgence, illuminating all the quarters of space, surrounded by the Yadus, lions among men, that best of the Yadus appeared like the moon amidst many stars. So very happy to be at the lotus feet of Shishi. Kishore Kishori uh, at the uh, Iskand Chicago temple. So in the still cold winter, uh, if someone takes the trouble to rise early in the morning, take a bath, put on fresh dress and tilaka in 12 parts of the body and comes in front of the deities of the Lord and offers obeisances and takes part in chanting of the holy name and hearing of the holy fame, then such a devotee becomes greatly blessed with the remembrance of the Lord, just as Maharani Kunti says, Tvayi me ananya vishaya matir madhupate sakrit ratim buddhahatat adha gange vaugham budanbati O Lord of, O Lord Madhu, Madhusudana, May my mind always flow towards you, your lotus feet and service, exactly as the Ganga, uh, crossing over all obstacles, she rushes to the ocean. Like that, may my mind always rush towards your lotus feet, like the Kunti is praying. So in this world, the greatest priceless jewel that we all can achieve is constant remembrance of Krishna uh, by thought, word and deed. And that is not uh, easily achieved without the uh, grace of the pure devotees and without the merciful glance of Lord Krishna. Mm. And you all know the famous verse, uh, In that verse, Prabhupada writes a beautiful purport. He says that by rendering service to a pure devotee, how do you render service to a pure devotee? In two ways. One is by hearing from the pure devotees and by serving their vapu, vani and vapu. So, uh, when is is Soharina Satsubhadas Maharaj was servant of Prabhupada, he says that in the morning walks, many disciples would go with Prabhupada, but he didn't go for some days. He was busy as the servant, uh, serving. One day the thought occurred to him, uh, I am cooking for Prabhupada, washing his clothes, making his room ready and everything. But I also should hear from him because other devotees are taking advantage and I see them very blissful. So I think I also should do my services in such a way that I can get to hear from him also. So there he writes, associating with the pure devotee is serving the body of the pure devotee which is Vapu and hearing the Vani of the pure devotee which is Vani. And uh, in this way, he says, one should serve and observe. So, you serve by these two things and observe how the pure devotee deals with material nature, how he deals with the ordinary living entities, how the pure devotees deal with um, equal devotees, junior devotees, senior devotees, uh, with all kinds of different people and situations, by observing the pure devotees and by serving the pure devotees. Uh, then what is the result of that? He says, uh, one qualitatively gets the quali uh, quality of those pure devotees. Uh, just like if you go to the deity room to render service and you come out, your body is rendered fragrant because some chandan may stick onto your body. Uh, because of your associating with the Lord, you get the fragrance also when you come out. Similarly, when one associates with pure devotees, then one also will get a, get some a proportion of that mercy of the pure devotee. We can become vehicles of the pure devotee's mercy and we can transmit that mercy to others also. 
So, uh, in this way there he writes by associating with, uh, associating and serving with the pure devotee, you develop Vasudeva Katha Ruchi, he says. Uh, develop a great taste for hearing about Krishna. So, hearing about Krishna is not same as eagerness for hearing about Krishna. Huh? What is the difference between the two? Sometimes uh, we may say that I am supposed to uh, read Prabhupada books or supposed to hear the Bhagavatam class. Huh? But somebody longs to hear, somebody looks forward for an opportunity to hear, somebody cries for missing the opportunity to hear. Huh? That is actually called as eagerness to hear. So, that eagerness is actually the seed of Raga Bhakti. Hmm. Sometimes people in Iskand say that, you know, oh, uh, we are just doing regular devotional service. How can we enter into Vraja Prem? Hmm. So, Prabhupada said, how do you enter uh, Vraja Prem? Doing every day we are doing Tulsi Maharani. That is how Vraja can Prem. we enter into Vraja Prem? We are asking Tulsi Maharani. So, please give me Prabhupada entry. Prabhupada said, how do you enter Vraja Prem? Every day we are doing Tulsi Maharani. So, please give me entry. How can we enter into Vraja Prem? We are asking Tulsi Maharani. So, please give me entry. Prabhupada said, how do you enter Vraja Prem? Every day we are doing Tulsi Maharani. Vrindavan provided one is faithfully serving the spiritual master hmm. and fulfilling all the duties that Srila Prabhupada has given us. Uh, time will pass as the sun moves from east to the west, one day is cut from our lives and gradually our bodies will get old, uh, time will pass away and when the death comes, on that day <clears throat> our account will be taken. How did we spend our life? Every year, every month, every day, every moment, hmm. that is going to decide what will be our destination. Hmm. Next. So, those who are intelligent devotees know that the really valuable commodity in this world to purchase is eagerness to hear about Krishna. Hmm. We don't need anything else in this world. Everything else is fallible, everything else is uh, perishable commodity. The only thing is eagerness to hear about the Lord. So, what happens by that eagerness? With that eagerness, when we hear about the Lord, the Lord also becomes inclined to us. Prabhupada writes in that purport. For example, see, one day, uh, one man wanted to meet me at 2 o'clock. I told him, sorry, not today. Let us meet another day. But he insisted and said, no, 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 I don't have, I am not available here. It's the only day I am coming to Pune. 2 o'clock, I will come. I said, you may come, but you will have to wait. I can't say how long I will be busy. So, he came at 2 o'clock and he waited, waited. And I came out of my office at 8 o'clock in the night. And then this fellow was still waiting. Six hours, he was doing some activities, but just waiting outside my office. So, when I came out, I said, hey, I told you not to waste time today. Come another day, why did you come? He said, I was waiting since 2. And he told me, you don't have to give me much time when you are walking from the uh, president's room to the ashram. That much time he gave me. Just one small thing I want to put, you know, inform you. But I felt pity for him because he has waited so long for me. Mm -hmm. Then I sat with him between 8 to 9. I gave him one hour time. Took him back to my office. Mm -hmm. So why did I do that? Because he was eager to meet me and he was willing to wait and did not make any demands of me and he was very grateful even for a small moment of time that I would give him. All these things made me look at him very compassionately. And then I gave him an hour time. Same principle with the Lord. Lord is a person. We are all persons. He is a living entity, we are a living entity. But he is a chief living entity. Supreme living entity. So, he is also a person. When he sees that someone is eager to hear about me, he also becomes eager to connect with that devotee. And Prabhupada says, how does he connect with the devotee eagerly? Uh, that Prabhupada says, Lord supplies good intelligence to that devotee to return back to him. Tadami buddhi yogam tam enamam upayantite. Lord says that. Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam enamam upayantite. Tesham evanukam partham ahamaknyana jam tamaha. Nashayam yatma bhavastho jnana deepena bhaswata. Even if a devotee is an illiterate, he can't read the books left behind by the spiritual master. But he is faithfully serving the spiritual master and developing eagerness to hear about the Lord. The Lord says, I, dwelling in the heart of such a devotee, 
will cleanse his heart and drive away the darkness and lit up his heart with the torch light of wisdom he says so these are the sequence of steps we should remember first we faithfully try to serve a pure devotee by hearing from the devotee and serving the body of the devotee and by doing that vasudeva katha ruchi is aroused and then when the katha ruchi is aroused then we go to hear the shrimad bhagavatam because we have respect for a pure devotee therefore we hear bhagavatam if we don't have respect then we will never read the books we will just uh, our not reading the books not chanting seriously is a sign that we don't respect the acharya we take him for for granted and we are super busy with material um, expansion but if you are serious then we respect him therefore kintu adarat anudinam kalaseva jushta swadve kramat bhavati tadgata mula hantri even the chanting of the holy name is performed well when we approach it with a great respect so whether it is chanting of the holy name or hearing of the holy fame through bhagavatam huh? it is achieved by respect respect is the first step so when you respectfully hear katha ruchi is awakened with that katha ruchi when we approach the bhagavatam lord also becomes eager huh? just like our uh, rukmini uh, she was daughter of bhishma ka she would always sit in the shrimad bhagavatam and hear daily when the brahmanas would recite in kaundinyapur maharashtra so when she wrote a letter to krishna krishna asked the brahman has rukmini ever seen me the brahman said no never then how did she how did she develop so much affection for me that she has written this letter so and krishna told the brahman okay read out the letter the very first in you know, a sentence was this shrutva gunan bhuvan sundar shanvatam te निर्वेश्य कर्ण विवरैर्हर तोंगतापम रूपम दृशाम दृशिमताम अखिलार्त लाभम त्वय्यच्युता विशति चित्तम अपत्रपम मे श्री सेलिंग निर्वेश्य कर्ण विवरैर्हर कृष्णाटिल लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू त्वय्यच्युता विशति चित्तम अपाटिड यू हियर अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू हर्ड अबाउट यू विशति चित्तम अपाटिड यू हियर अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू अपाटिड यू हियर अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई हर्ड अबाउट यू लाभम बट आई ओनली हर्ड अबाउट यू आई अधर मधुर वदन मधुर गमन मधुर मार्गम गते कृष्णे द्वारकाया कुलस्त्रिय हर्म्या आरुर्विप्रा उत्तम श्लोक चेतसा सो दिस् वर्स इज दट many of the sophisticated uh, civilized ladies of dwaraka they would climb up the higher floors of their bungalow so proper says in dwaraka there were many houses which were seven story or eight story buildings even in those days proper writes in one purport you will see huh? so they would climb in the top and they would watch krishna passing through the rajamarga the royal road every day huh? so uh, and uh, that sight was always appealing to all the dwaraka vasis although they saw him every day hmm, they would never get tired of seeing that beautiful lords walking nityam nirikshamananam yadapi dwaraka ukasam na vitrupyanti hi drishah shriyo dham angam achyutam although they saw him every day na vitrupyanti they never became saturated they never became satiated hmm. they wanted to see him every day just like we dress kishor kishori every day in different type of dress 
and we in the shringa darshan time the devotees come running to watch him so we should be eager to see them dressed very nicely and adore their beauty otherwise we are going to look ourselves into the mirror and we keep decorating our body huh? which is a perishing body isn't it hmm. in this world so many people go to salon so many people go to beauty parlors hmm. to increase their bodily beauty by changing the shape of their hair style and putting so many cosmetics to make their skin shine putting so many odors i mean de- deodorants in their body to make the bad smelling body more uh, fragrant huh? and decorating themselves with glittering dresses to charm the hearts of opposite sex huh? in this world why are they doing that because they are not looking at the forms of kishor kishori those who are attracted to the deities of the lord every day you dress them decorate them and watch their beauty you know we will lose the taste for decorating ourselves mm-hmm. in fact without even decorating yourself you become beautiful also mm-hmm. when you make the lord beautiful prahlad maharaj says that when you go to your mirror and you put your bindi uh, your dot here then the reflection also gets it you put one ear ring here the reflection also gets ear ring you put nose ring the reflection gets nose ring similarly when you decorate the beauty of the lord the devotee becomes beautiful how do you know devotee is beautiful when shil prabhupad came to west here his age was almost 70 hmm. after some time of stay in america prabhupad said i have to leave for india for some for, for a period of time many devotees were weeping in the airport brahman and pavan other people hmm. prabhupad pacified them and told them uh, to continue their duties and one janaki mata ji she snatched proper ticket a flight ticket and said some of your ticket is with us let us see how you will go to india she said huh? i was when i saw that you might have seen that picture proper uh, laughing and all devotees laughing when she had taken proper ticket hmm. so generally a man who is very old 70 or 80 years old even the family members are not so much interested in listening to that fellow huh? they say you know don't you know speak anything just mind your own business and everybody is into their own busy world and there is the reason vanaprastha is kept is all in as mahavishnu maharaj was telling uh, many people ask me why did you do this why did you leave home and take sanyas huh? why are you why did you leave and he said if i don't leave they will ask ask me when are you leaving <laughs> he said huh? because you will see that you know over a period of time in material relationships become very bitter in this world familiarity breeds contempt we say but if as age progresses you become serious in spiritual life then relatives like you very much because they see that you are more spiritual minded you are not competing with them in material life so therefore this it is kept first 25 years learn and grow next 25 years engage and earn engage in devotional service and earn bhakti sukriti 50 to 75 detach and attach hmm. what is detach and attach detach from materialistic pursuits and attach to krishna service then beyond 75 pray and prepare hmm. pray like prahlad prayed gajendra prayed and all that and prepare for leaving the body and going back to godhead hmm. so in this way there are four phases of life hmm. so prabhupad was actually 70 plus but the disciples saw him very beautiful hmm. what was his beauty there was transcendental beauty the spiritual beauty is far beyond material beauty prabhupada was externally his body was old but his spirit was young and his charm and his spiritual fixity his conviction uh, and his uh, uh, nature to be compassionate towards all living beings and his mad attachment to krishna all these things made him a very beautiful personality for the devotees so lord is walking through the rajamargam royal path every day huh? and nobody gets tired in dwaraka every day they drink the beauty of the lord with their eyes huh? watching him and here uh, there is a special detail mentioned here that lord when he would walk out of one palace and then the queen would come naturally up to the door to say tata in india they say now you come up to the door huh? you do that and then go inside and then as lord would walk when we up to from this house up to the door up to the end of the lane the queen could see huh, that the lord is 
you know, going like this. But every queen thought that my husband is henpecked husband. He is attached to me. He is always with me in my palace. He never gives time to the other queens. Although he married 16,000 of them. Not even once he went to meet anybody else. He is always with me. And therefore it is said, Atat Virya Kovidaha. It is said, the queens were not aware of Krishna's prowess. How Krishna expanded himself into 16,108 forms. And he was present in each and every one of those palaces. Just like if there is a sun in the sky and you have 1,000 oil pots. In each pot, the sun will reflect. So Krishna has the ability to expand like that. He expanded himself into so many uh, uh, Krishnas. In each palace, Krishna lived with the the queens. So in this way... Uh, this also is Krishna's arrangement only that the queens were in transcendental illusion uh, that Krishna is only with me and he didn't go anywhere else. But then when all the Krishnas would come, they would all merge into one and enter into the Sudharma Assembly Hall. This Sudharma Assembly Hall originally belongs to the heavenly planets. Uh, it was with Indra at his custody. But when Yadus appeared in this world, they went to heavenly planets and uh, snatched it from the heavenly planets and pushed it, brought it down to Dwaraka and kept it in Dwaraka. Now somebody may say, how they did that? How can they take away from Indra? Actually, the best of the commodities in this world are offerable to Krishna. Huh? The best flower, fragrant flower should be offered to him. Costliest of the dresses should be offered to him. Best of the jewels and ornaments should be offered to him. Huh? A beautiful temple should be built for him. Best of the bhoga um, eatables should be offered to him. Uh, therefore, you will see when uh, Dwaraka Vasis were welcoming Krishna into Dwaraka in the first canto, 11th chapter, you will see every Dwaraka resident, they brought some offering as per their capacity. If, if somebody was a uh, cloth merchant, he would bring the silk cloth, very best of the cloth, he would come and offer to Krishna. Somebody was a flower uh, seller. He would make the best of the garlands eh? and then offer it to Krishna also. Like that. Everybody. Hmm? They all thought, Lord is returning back. Let me give the best gift to Krishna. Hmm? So, therefore, Sudharma assembly is a very special place because in that assembly, anyone enters, they won't get old and they don't get diseases. They don't uh, have any lamentation, no illusion, no hunger, no thirst. Six things are said. Kshut, Pipasa, Jara, Mrityu, Shoka, Moha. These were absent in that palace. As long as one is sitting in that palace. Now, in the heavenly planets also, uh, there are some specialities which are absent in the earth. For example, in the earth, we have birth, old age, disease and death. Whereas in the heavenly planets, there is only birth and death. There is no old age, there is no disease. You will see that. Because their bodies are uh, always tenacious, very healthy. Uh, His Holiness Bhakti Vaishnava Ashray Maharaj came to Pune. Once he was telling that the heavenly planet, there is no toilet block there. Because their bodies are different, ethereal bodies, unlike our bodies. He said our bodies are very abominable, the Panchamahabhut bodies which we have. But the heavenly bodies are material, but ethereal, very subtle body. They can disappear in one place, reappear in another place. They can change their form at will. They can do many things like that. And their bodies are also fragrant. You will read in the fifth canto of Bhagavatam, when uh, Gandharvas are such apsaras when they come, when they take a dip in a river and go, the smell in the river, the fragrance, you know, it is uh, smelled by people 80 miles away. So their bodies are so fragrant also. But although their bodies are fragrant, they look very handsome and beautiful. Mm. Although they can remain young and youthful throughout their life and they don't get diseases, their body doesn't uh, emit any abominable substances like our body. Still, heavenly life is considered useless by demigods. Do you know that? Why the heavenly life is considered useless? In the 5th canto, 19th chapter, you will read, Na yatra vai kuntha katha sudha paga Na sadhavo bhagavata stadashraya 
नज्ञेशमखामहोत्सव सुरेश लोकोपि न वैसेव्यता किं दुष्कृतपोव्रत दानादिर्वाद्युज फलगुना न यत्र नारायण पाद पंकज स्मृति प्रमुष्टा अतिशयेन्द्रियोत्सवा द देवता सर प्रेयिंग माय डियर लॉर्ड इवन दो वी आर लिविंग इन हेवन व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ सच अ लाइफ स्टाइल वी हैव वेरी गुड हैंडसम बॉडीज एंड लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ लाइफ नाइस फूड्स टू ईट एंड बेवरेजेस टू ड्रिंक नाइस एंड ग्रेटिफिकेशन अवेलेबल but they are saying that whichever place where the sacrifices are not conducted wherever the kirtan is not done sankirtan yagya is not done wherever the bhagavad katha is not spoken wherever the pure devotees for whom the lord himself is their very life itself huh? but if they don't come together chant and dance and sing the glories of the lord such a place is bereft of lord's uh, presence so nayatra narayana pada pankaj we don't remember the lotus feet of narayana in heaven why smriti pramushta our smriti has become bhanga our remembrance of lord narayana is spoiled why because of atishaya indriya utsavat they are saying because of too much sense gratification they are saying see if you want to get an under glimpse of this on this earth itself we have india we have america so india is like earthly planet america is like heavenly planet why heavenly planet in america you find americans are born with handsome bodies they have they are very very well to do they have abundant wealth some of them live till 100 also correct no and there is there is abundant supply of all the goods commodities some of our indian boys have come to boston so they were actually planning to purchase table and chairs and everything and they found table and chairs outside somebody's house it was mentioned if you want you can pick it up they picked it up after that they said if somebody doesn't want to use any item they just keep it outside the house you know that yeah and anybody wants to use, anybody finds utility value for that they can pick it up and how can they do that because there is abundance of wealth there is wealth and there is bodily beauty and you know universities give big education many people come for higher education everything is there but at the same time the greatest challenge in this country is there is so much sense gratification that one can easily forget the supreme lord's lotus feet one can get carried away you live in a very comfortable house you have a comfortable car and you have you have big bank balance um, and one has handsome bodies you eat well sleep well enjoy well so then what happens one becomes it's like uh, sprinkling water on a firewood uh, and then you put it in the furnace uh, along with fire you also get smoke so when sense gratification is mixed with krishna consciousness the fire spirit is reduced just like it is said in bible the you know the spirit is strong but the flesh is weak which means flesh represents the conditionings we may have krishna conscious spirit but it is dampened by conditionings but when we are not alert and attentive in krishna consciousness our conditionings become increased and then we cannot rise early in the morning we cannot chant we cannot until late night you are dragging and completing the rounds and we don't regularly want to read the books so in this way the demigods are lamenting that heavenly planet is very enjoyable place but prati pramushta atishe indri utsava then uh, what do you want to do devata saying we want to be born in india or we want to be born on earth bharatvarsha is not only india bharatvarsha is the entire Uh, bhumi is called as bharat varsha huh? you will see the pujari saying bharat varsha bharat khande they will say huh? so uh, actually they want to come from a heavenly plane to the earthly plane so that here they are confident that kaliyuga has come lord chaitanya has arrived in kaliyuga uh, gaurnitai are the deities for this age huh? and they are propagating the sankirtan movement the migads are praying to lord please give us this one 100 years crash course huh? of sankirtan movement so that in one life we can purify our heart and go back home back to godhead so we all are possessing what the demigods are envying huh? demigods are looking for becoming devotees like us and we are already you know getting what they are hankering for so in this way uh, you uh, you will see that uh, the 
narayana pada pankaj is remembered by those who faithfully practice devotion service at every moment so in the sudarma assembly uh, uh, in the heavenly planet when you enter people won't get old people will be young and people will not get thirst or hunger uh, people will not lament or uh, have illusion and they will be very happy inside but it is useless if all this is available without krishna uh, all material facilities minus krishna big zero no material facilities with krishna is infinity infinite happiness that's what kunti banan is telling if you have krishna you have everything if you have no krishna you have nothing in this world so this has to be remembered always so therefore the most essential commodity to possess in this world is krishna himself namo akinchana vittaya nivrutta guna vrittaye atma ramaya shantaya kaivalya pataye namah so this principle uh, what is there in swarma assembly hall swarma hall uh, therefore heaven was brought here and then krishna was uh, and his ministers were using that uh, parliament house as uh, parliament of dwaraka but now it is very special why because the swarma assembly hall is having the greatest beauty of krishna uh, highlighting that place that makes it very special any place where krishna is there that is very special place like we don't talk about battle of panipat or we don't talk about bat- first world war second world war we are not interested but we talk about kurukshetra war why who is present there that krishna is present if krishna is present even a war is a very good subject to discuss about huh? because lord krishna is present if krishna is not present no matter what, how great a thing may be it's all a string of zeros huh? good for nothing so now swarma assembly hall becomes very special because then if devotees are sitting with krishna in the presence of krishna devotees are also very young i'll show you one verse in the shrimad bhagavatam uh, it's about uddhava uddhava was actually very old when uh, vidura met him uh, and wanted uh, to hear about krishna there i'll tell you the verse number see this is 3.2.3 3.2.3 Sa katam seva yadasya kale na jarasam gataha Prishto vartam prati bruyat Bartuhu pada vanasmara Here Prabhupada writes here, the purport. Transcendental service to the Lord is not mundane. The service attitude of the devotee gradually increases and never becomes slackened. Generally in old age, a person is allowed retirement from mundane service. but in the transcendental service of the lord there is no retirement at all on the contrary the service attitude increases more and more with the progress of age in the transcendental service there is no satiation and therefore there is no retirement materially when a man becomes tired by rendering service in his physical body he is allowed retirement but in the transcendental service there is no feeling of fatigue because it is spiritual service and is not on the bodily plane service on the bodily plane dwindles as the body grows older but the spirit is never old and therefore on the spiritual plane service is never tiresome proper saying it's beautiful purport it is when bhishma pitama was lying in the arrow bed all the arrows are poking his back and it was bleeding but when uh, used to maharaj asked Uh, many questions about raja dharma stri dharma varnashram dharma jati dharma kula dharma all those different dharmas he spoke and spoke for some time and then he got tired he said you stay here enough now now i just want to focus my whole attention on my very dear lord of my heart krishna so stop don't ask any more questions and allow me to be in peace he said and then he said last one question he said okay what is that one question Kime kam daivatam loke kim vapye kam parayanam He asked, Can you please tell me one supreme in this world whom I should worship? Stuvan takkam kamarchanta prapna yurmana vashubham Whom should I do stuti? Stuvan takkam Kam archanta, whom should I worship? He is asking. By doing which I will attain all auspiciousness. Ko dharma sarva dharmanam bhavataha paramomataha There are many dharmas you spoke to me now. what is the topmost dharma he asked 
किम जपन मुच्चते जंतुर जन्म संसार बंधनात बाय चैंटिंग हुज नेम कैन ऑल द लिविंग एंटिटीज बी फ्रीड फ्रॉम ऑल एंटैंगलमेंट सी ही सेड आई हैव वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन बट ही आस्क फोर क्वेश्चंस सम पीपल आर वेरी इंटेलिजेंट दे पैक थ्री फोर क्वेश्चंस इन वन एंड आस्क ही वाज लाइक दैट व्हेन ही हर्ड दिस क्वेश्चन भीष्म पिता मई वाइडली ओपनड हिज आईज ही सेड व्हाट अ ब्रिलियंट क्वेश्चन यू हैव आस्क नाउ नाउ आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू स्पीक टू यू because till now you are asking all mundane questions regarding raj dharma and all those things now that you have put such a good question about my very dear lord vasudeva here from me i'll tell you bishmo vacha then he begins jagat prabhum deva deva anantam purushottamam suvannam sahasrena purushas satatotitah tame vacha chayan nityam bhaktya purusham abhyam dhyayan suvannam asyam se yajmanas tame vacha अनादिनदनमेशरम लोकाध्यक्षम स्तुवादिगो भवे ब्रह्मण्यम सर्वधर्म लोकानीर्तिवर्धन लोकनाथ महदूत वाट इज सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इज लॉर्ड ऑफ आल लॉर्ड मास्टर ऑफ आल मास्टर्स लीडर ऑफ आल लीडर्स ही अलोन शुड बी वर्षेड एवरी वन एल्स इज सबॉर्डिनेट टू हिम एंड ही इज most worthy of worship huh? and by remembering him alone one can attain all perfection he is pratah smaraniya he is, he is worthy to remember in the early morning he is archaniya mandaniya he is fit to be worshiped glorified huh? nobody else in this world deserves such glorification like the lord huh? so he glorifies lord in thousand names huh? so why am i telling you this imagine if one needle is pricking your back don't you see all our attention goes to that one needle huh? isn't it huh? on the other hand he has how many needles he has hundreds of them huh? poking his back and it is bleeding also and he is lying he is close to death also at the time how do you think he can think of anything else because he is thinking of krishna you can confidently say he is a lover of krishna huh? not only that he is singing a song tribhuvana kamanam tamala varanam ravi kara gaurava rambaram dadhane vapurala kakula vrutana nabjam Vijay asa ke rati rastu me na vadya. Do you think if doctor is giving injection, you can sing a song like this? <laughs> Even one injection. Huh? So that means when you do transcendental service, you get such a bliss. All the pain of this world becomes absent for such a devotee. Tad birya gaya na mahamarta magna chitta. Prahlad also says that when I, my chitta is magna in your birya katha, therefore I don't feel any pangs. He is telling. Huh? She also says that uh, Rukmini, I told you, no, Shrutva Gunan Bhavan Sun Darshan Vidhamte Nirvishya Karana Vivarayir Harata Anga Tapam. Anga Tapam means our senses are always hankering for something in this world. When you get Krishna, the hankering is finished. In Sanskrit, the word hankering means Trishna. When you get Krishna, Trishna goes away. Once my spiritual master said. Fill up all the holes of your body with Krishna. He said, "Fill up all the holes of your body with the supreme hole. Then they will never have any more hankering. The supreme hole is W H O L E. When you fill up your all the holes, ear holes, fill it up with Krishna Kata. You know the holes of the eyes, fill it up with the darshan of the Lord. Nose with the scent offered to the Lord. Mouth with the prasad of the Lord and shining of them like that. So in this way." in this way the characteristics of the sudarma assembly hall uh, when uh, we apply it to devotees it is true that the devotees who are leading a krishna conscious lifestyle <clears throat> even though they may become old their spirit doesn't become weak <clears throat> in companies they retire you because people do very less service after 60 uh, they become little therefore they give you some pension and tell you better you go home uh, whereas in krishna consciousness There was an Vibhu Chaitanya Prabhu in Vrindavan. Prabhu disciple. Prabhu said, "This fellow, this Pujari Vibhu Chaitanya, he does the service of dozen people. Huh? He was very hard working. He would dress the deity, he would ornament the deity, he would cook for the deities, he would make the plates, he would wash the plates. He will not let any devotee come near. Huh? So later on, as his age progressed, he became older than seventy, eighty. At that time." Uh, his hands started trembling many devotees told him now you should not lift the prasadam bhoga plates for the lord is very heavy for you even while dressing the deity he would find it difficult to you know you know reach out to everything so he was very old and he started weeping 
how can i live without service so then he would sit in the temple hall and for all the passers by he would give charanamrit till the last day till last breath he was serving like that so his holiness jaitas maharaj was telling about him he was telling about see how the devotee devotee's life air is service so in this way when we hear about the sudarma assembly hall you don't have old age or you don't die you know jara mrityu or you know uh, other things like shoka moha akrit vipas no hunger no thirst what is the use of all these things if all these things are not used in krishna service if you are using in krishna service then you know keeping our body young is uh, somebody told me prabhu ji you have become so thin now in those days you were very hefty you have become very thin i told him although i am thin i am able to move all around the world different places i go i can krishna has given me enough energy to travel uh, and uh, preach and reach out to the people and that is the real health uh, real health is not that i eat very nice uh, foods and have a plumpy body <laughs> and i don't do anything hmm? good for nothing hmm? so we we our real health is spiritual health and this body is anyway going to perish one day if not today tomorrow from dust to the world born and to dust thou shall return huh? that's the nature of this material body so therefore we can burn out this material body in the sankirtan movement and definitely krishna will be waiting for us to welcome us back to spiritual world shri prabhupad ki so i have touched the time but i can be available for another 10 minutes prabhu if, if anybody wishes to ask me questions and those who have to go for seva you can carry on i heard the class is only till 8:30 i suppose you can uh, hare krishna prabhu hare krishna prabhu uh wonderful class prabhu thank you so much so i have two questions here prabhu um one is uh, even the demigods are waiting for doing the devotional service it is so soothing all the six things will go away yeah how should we understand why sometimes we may feel krishna conscious activities are burden to us you know and uh, we may try to give excuses and you know run away from the service you know such kind of symptoms you know when devotional service it is so powerful how is uh, we get it in uh, 9 chapter krishna says susukam kartum avyayam yeah. it should be very joyfully performed there why we don't sometimes joyfully perform it there are various reasons for that one reason is if you sometimes we uh over uh, we take service beyond our capacity imagine like keeping a big uh, coconut on the head of a sparrow huh? sparrow will become chutney hmm? you take service beyond what you can handle huh? there was one boy in pune he would go to two dozen devotees and beg for service and all of them gave him service then he would cry and i am unable to complete hmm? so then his senior told him that you know you know don't uh, don't remain in comfort zone and don't go to panic zone uh, keep yourself in the middle midway is stretch zone we call it stretch means if your capacity is this you can stretch a little bit uh, like you have a suitcase it has a capacity how much you can fit too much if you put and try to close it is going to break correct now so we should number one uh, what i am telling you is know your capacity and take accordingly so that you can happily perform number one number 2 our happiness is thwarted when we become slack in our bhajan also like for example somebody even in the morning japa time is making phone calls you know talking to some upcoming devotees how do you do and then long 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 wound the talks on phone and the japa mala remains not completing the chanting and sometimes in the name of preaching we do we stop reading prabhat books we are only giving 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 and we are not taking anything so when i don't take in then i don't get the juice we should do janma sarthaka kori kara para upakar both we should do and uh, so the second thing i am telling you is you know keep a balance between taking in and giving out that's the second thing i am saying huh? and the third thing when uh, we are in the role of a manager you know a manager has to sometimes see who who is competent for a particular service and who is not and who is good at what and who is not good at what so in the course of discriminating you know the devotees sometimes uh, if you are not mature we commit offenses uh, 
as a manager sometimes we may ridicule hey he's a lazy bum he won't do like that we say we don't know the super soul is hearing what we are speaking you are calling him a lazy bum lord becomes angry with us he is a vaishnava you can't use such words for a vaishnava so when lord becomes displeased with my speech then he will take away the taste and then the life uh, spiritual life can become burden so so leaders managers especially handling uh, devotees like prithu maharaj is saying you know although i can command all my citizens when it comes to devotees and brahmanas i have to deal with them respectfully hmm? like that he says he also says rishabhadev also says that but kapil also says all of them say that and devotees should be treated with they are like ha- handled with care items hmm? one has to handle. if i don't handle them with care then i will lose the taste that is the worst price that we have to pay so those who have respect for devotees they can have the juice also at the same time doesn't mean you be wishy-washy with devotees you know you can allow them to do whatever they want we don't say that you have to be polite and firm courageous and considerate bold and sensitive we have to comp- com- we have to com- combine fierce and mild huh? we have to combine those two uh, you know masculine and feminine right it should be combined for a manager uh so manager cannot be one sided manager cannot be judgmental manager cannot be condescending uh manager uh, uh, cannot be fault finding uh actually the difference between kanishtha adhikari and madhyam adhikari is kanishtha adhikari delights in pointing faults in others but madhyam adhikari also points faults with the desire to improve others so he will tell him this is your fault if you do this you will come out of it that is madhyam adhikari so we should promote our sasram kanishtha to madhya uh, and then we can avoid the offenses so third point i told you we should avoid offenses as a leader manager second point i told you keep a balance between taking in and giving out janma sarthaka kori kara paropakar if you keep a good balance you will always be blissful like that and the first thing i told you be in the stretch zone don't go to panic zone panic zone means you have taken service beyond your capacity Hmm. we become very greedy to take do more the problem is sometimes we compare ourselves with others one example i tell you you know one devotee was preaching in two colleges huh? another devotee he he was preaching in four colleges and how he could preach in four he had capable assistants you know with him so he put one one of them in four colleges and he just had to rotate go around and help them whereas this fellow didn't have assistant so he also took four and then his head was spinning japa is remaining la- night 11 o'clock is eight rounds remaining huh? you know and he is not getting time to read and the places where he is preaching nobody is becoming serious devotee that means his, his quality is compromised and he is trying to increase the quantity simply he is looking at another devotee and trying to imitate so a cat should not imitate a tiger by taking a firewood and putting strips on the body and looking in the mirror you know so we don't have to compare ourselves with others we do according to our capacity if i am a squirrel i will do squirrel capacity somebody is hanuman he will do hanuman capacity so first point is about your capacity don't go to panic zone second point is keep balance between taking and giving out third one is avoid offenses and you will see that all these things if you do uh, life will become very relishable spiritual life will be enjoyable hmm? thank you the online question yeah 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 please uh, it says my husband is not supportive for krishna consciousness mm. how can i serve the lord in all capacity uh, is there any hope for me going back to god yeah in families where the wife is a devotee and husband is not then the wife should be, should be very attentive to serve the husband and especially morning hours like when she gets up till the husband goes to office you know cooking for the husband and make, making him comfortable getting ready to go to office correct now like sometimes what happens if a devotee lady early morning she gets up takes a bath and sits to chant the husband gets irritated if he's not a devotee huh? he will say that early morning you're sitting with god you know what about me i am your husband you're not taking care of me you know husband many times uh, different husbands have different expectations some of them are happy we just cook prasad and give him he's happy but some are not like that some of them want uh, the time of the wife also be available you know get this get that you know and uh, attend to the children household thing is more important you know so such husbands many time go to iskon temple and quarrel with the management also sometimes authorities you know what are you teaching my wife you know she is not 
she is after god and not uh, doing uh, her duties at home so what we generally teach such uh, uh, families is a wife should make sure uh, that she takes care of husband and children and in-laws first uh, very nicely once the children have gone to school husband has gone to office in-laws have done their morning duties they are peaceful then after 10 o'clock 11 o'clock she gets time uh, then 11 to 2 down to 3 she has time that's her personal time she can do more spiritual life she can chant more read bhagavatam in pune most of the mata ji sir are part of uh, uh, this thing what do you call it a uh, zoom group uh, where they connect with other ladies the 10 or 20 ladies they read bhagavatam generally like uh, 12:30 to 1 1 to 2 like that they read so that is a good time for the women to have their personal time so if this mata ji if she serves her husband very well and wins the heart of the husband husband won't mind coming to temple and watching what she is doing what is she learning and he may also become a devotee eventually huh? like chavana muni was a very irritable husband and old man also but sukanya was a young girl but faithful wife chaste wife and she won the heart of the husband hmm? eventually the family became very auspicious you know that hmm? so <clears throat> uh, and going back to godhead is not just a kind of ritual Uh, you if you are developing the right intention even in the morning time in case she has to serve the family members while her other friends are all doing chanting no problem uh, she can for a while till the husband and family members pick up she can uh, make sure that she keeps this as the priority in our pune temple what many families do if husband wife both are devotees husband will come for mangala aarti narsing aarti tulasi aarti and japa one hour japa he will do then wife will come after that she will do one hour japa and then attend shringar darshan guru puja bhagavatam class and she will go why because when husband goes to temple she takes care of the children and also she cooks does all those things at home after husband returns to home he takes care of children and she goes to temple and then in this way both of them have a shift huh? that way they both can get morning program they were doing like this so when i saw that i many years ago i have been telling that we should give free prasad to any grihastha coming to temple our management uh, people were thinking how to accommodate so many grihasthas who may come if you give prasad the number may increase also huh? i said very good huh? number increases is most wonderful so i have been pushing 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 many years now one year ago we started now every morning we give different type of prasadam we give dosa idli south indian north indian all kinds of prasad the morning so people attend the morning program they can take breakfast some of them pack it and take it also to companies but if somebody has work from home then we also give lunch also free we have rice dal sabji chapati chapati also we give nowadays so morning prasad free morning 300 people lunch 300 people are taking no? apart from that we have kichdi and halwa going from 8 to 1 and evening 4 to 9 constantly going on so when we did this a lot of people are coming now for morning because now they have no anxiety to cook at home just attend mangala aarti narsing aarti and every morning is like a sunday feast program lot of people for 3 400 people come every morning so why i am telling you this uh, as a community we can come together and uh, make plans by which all people can practice and also the mata ji uh, whose family members are not devotees she has to be very careful to not uh, put off the husband or in laws in the name of krishna consciousness that way uh, otherwise they will criticize is khan and the prabhupada and everything so we should earn a good name if a daughter in law earns a good name from the parent, mother in law father in law also and also from the husband then her life will become easy to practice for her life hmm? Thank you. It's almost eight forty-five. You all have to go for prasad. There is one more question. Okay, one more, yeah. How to develop more mood of appreciation for good qualities in other devotees without envying them for the good qualities? Without, let's go. Without envying them for the good qualities. Ah, correct, correct. Actually, everybody in this world possesses some special trait which is unique to them. Like jasmine flower is fragrant. Hmm. you see the jerbera flower or sunflower it is very big and beautiful huh? 
lotus flower has lot of honey which means every flower has some qualification you should not say that what is the use of jasmine flower it is small what use of gerbera flower it has no smell we should not say that say what the flowers are possessing don't say what they don't possess this is the first step always glorify devotees what they can do hey, this devotee can play mridanga very well don't say hey, what is the mridanga he cannot give class don't say that okay he can play mridanga well this devotee can sing well this devotee can give good classes this devotee can cook well this mata ji can make good garlands like that each person has some good quality look at the quality and appreciate number 1 number 2 understand that this good quality is given by krishna to them now he says mama teja amsha sambhavam krishna says these are all qualities in jeevas which i have given them because they are my part and parcel from me only they have obtained these qualities so if i become envious of anybody then i am becoming envious of krishna that is the second thing we should know everything comes from krishna thirdly if somebody has done punya in the previous life they may become easily famous in this life how many of you have seen some preacher you know suddenly he started getting millions of followers you have seen that na huh? like our einstein also 1903 he was a c class clerk huh? and he was also fired from the school uh, he was considered when he applied for b class clerk from this level to this level clerk his boss shouted at him he said you are a good for nothing fellow you are lazy fellow you have not done anything great and you are asking for a promotion he shouted at him but in 1904 in one year einstein wrote four papers theory of relativity time dilation theory you know that e equal to mc square and all that he made in one year he became genius of the whole century so if krishna want to make somebody genius of the century he can do it in just you know in the moment so krishna only makes as famous krishna only makes devotees possess some extraordinary quality so krishna is the awarder of all good things so better be seal and also that's the second thing i told you third one i told you is they have done some punya in the previous life and the result of the punya is coming now like in a company also you see thousand students join the company as a gt then only 100 of them become team lead only 10 of them become project manager only one becomes a unit head correct now can you envy them because it's based on performance similarly your punya performance brings you many many you know qualities in people so like he has done punya he, he is uh, more famous than me why should i envy him he did homework he got more i didn't do the homework so i don't have to envy anyone there no reason for envy another thing we should focus on what krishna has given us hmm? and try to utilize our potentials to the best rather than looking here and there who is having what and what i don't have <laughs> one should not think like that by by these things that envy will go away and also dhruva maharaj was told by his mother my dear son you focus on your progress don't try to pull others leg she says huh? if you have malice towards others that will hurt you more than hurting others so in vishnu sasanam there is one very famous verse na krodho na samatsaryo na lobho na shubhamati hi bhavanti krita punyanam bhaktanam purushottame he says that bhaktas devotees of krishna never become unnecessarily angry towards anyone they don't become greedy for others possessions and they don't harbor any malice towards others they don't become envious of others then what do they do he says bhavanti krita punyanam they are always engaged in you know virtuous activities like uh, shravanam kirtanam smaranam huh? they are worshiping the deity they are you know cooking for the lord they are making garland for the lord they are preaching they are distributing books doing harinam sankirtan they don't waste their time in envying and other things you know absorb your time because time is precious life is short in this very life you have to go back to god here thank you shri prabhupad ki my own last question okay my own last question yeah yeah give the mic i am very happy to see you because i was studying your book and again i got your book Mm-hmm. I was visiting with my Guru Maharaj in Nava Jagan Rasai. Ah. I got your book from Gayana. Okay. I started reading so intensely. Uh-huh. And I was, uh, one day I was hoping to see you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I came to a house. Which book you got? You, you got Thank your you best much. friend? Which book you got? Which book? Yes. 
which book? Bhagavad Gita. Ah, ah that one yes, is correct. So many practical, practical yes. example you have given. Mm. I really I appreciate for that. And I have a good question. Mm. Is here like uh, when the queens they are able to see that Krishna is merging two into one before entering to Sudharma mm. assembly, mm. whereas others can't see it. Yeah. That's what Vishwanath Chakravarti ah, Thakur... Wh- what is the meaning of that, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is Krishna's mystic potency. For example, when he called all the Brahmas to Dwaraka once, Brahma, Brahmas, mm-hmm. then one Brahma with four heads, one Brahma with eight heads, you know, 16 heads, 32 heads, 64 heads and all. But each Brahma could not see other Brahmas. They only saw, I am there and Lord is there. Only our four-headed Brahma saw all the Brahmas. So Krishna can you know, block the vision in that way. Like in computer server room, if you are in server room, for different people, you can give different access. Now, the youngsters in college understand it. Correct, now, Prabhuji? They are allow this much access, this much access, this much access. Only he has full access. So, for our Brahma, he gave full access to see. But for other Brahma, he, he blocked the access. They could see only themselves and the Lord. Similarly, here also, <clears throat> if uh, all the queens see that multiple Krishnas are coming out, of their palace and they will be shocked. They, they may wonder how many Krishnas are there. So in order to avoid that, Lord actually made them feel that my husband Krishna is only the one coming out and going to the street. Up to the end of the street they would see. But then another Krishna would come from the next palace that nobody could see. That kind of access he blocked for the, for the queen's joy to remain so that they can think that he is only with them. Each gopi also thought in Rasa dance, Krishna is only dancing with me. But actually he had multiplied him, himself into as many number of gopis. Correct, no? Is that clear? Thank you. And in, and in relation to this, only one minute, quick question. Like, please explain, because you are very nice in, with examples. So, so uh, Jasham Jagrati Sanjan, Sapashyata Muni, that verse I am always confused. Now, see, very simple, I'll tell you that was In IIT, for example, we would get up at 4 o'clock, get ready, and then 4.30, we would go for chanting, you know, some of his devotees. At that time, most boys, after playing football, volleyball, they would be going to sleep. So, when we are getting up to chant, those boys will be going to sleep. Whole night, they keep awake. That means, those are materialists, for them, night time is very important. Parties, beer bars, permit rooms. They are all very active in night and dark activities happen at night, prostitution, such kinds of things happen at night. And in the early morning, always is Brahma Muhurta, when Asuras will not come at that time. So they are called Nishachara, they only keep wide awake at night. In the Pratavakal, Brahma Muhurta, all the devotees and Brahmanas, they are awake in the morning. And they will be chanting, dancing, because that time is very anukul, very favorable for your spiritual progress. So this is the literal meaning of the verse. Huh? That now, when you are awake, they are asleep. When they are awake, you are asleep. Correct, no? This is the external meaning. Now, the figuratively, another deeper meaning is what? For example, we like wearing tilak, kantimala, taking a japa beads, wearing dhoti kurta, matajis, wear sari. We delight in spiritual activities. For many outsiders, this is like Greek and Latin for them. Huh? It's a Greek and Latin. Like one uh, airport lady asked my assistant, what is this you guys are wearing? Like that she asked. He told, we are wearing the lotus feet of the Lord. Like that he said. What, she, what did she say? She was amazed. She said, oh, I am amazed. You are wearing the Lord's lotus feet on your forehead. She was not aware. So many of the outsiders, when they see the lifestyle of a Hare Krishna devotee, they cannot understand. Like we went to the airport to receive one season Bhakti Vikas Maharaj in that railway station. So, Maharaj came out, we were doing Sankirtan, chanting and dancing. First of all, for the people, Sankirtan itself is an amazing thing. And when Maharaj came, we garlanded him with the garland, you know. And then we offered obeisances, Maharaj offered obeisances. And Maharaj said, don't stop the Kirtan. Till the train is standing, we will continue. So, he took the whole Kirtan from the rear end of the train to the front engine and then back and forth. And Maharaj would look into the windows and say, chant, chant, everybody. (laughs) So, they were watching with great amazement. Many of them are peeping out of the window and peeping out of the door, watching this till the train moved. <laughs> so, all the activities of a devotee are very wonderful. Like that for them. 
and for us when we see their activities it appears strange you find one fellow was sucking the cigarette like that and leaving the smoke through the nose kuf 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 like a train so when i saw that i was wondering already there is so much pollution this was taking more pollution inside for us their activities are wonderful <laughs> for them our activities are wonderful we are, we wonder that how, which fool in this world can put so much pollution inside they are putting all substances into the body like liquor smoke why are they killing themselves atmaha huh? we think like that we feel pity for them and they feel pity for us one for one one fellow telling me after mtak iit he became a sadhu huh? what happened you had some love failure or something people ask huh? because they cannot understand what is it huh? i said it's not love failure it's love success because lord attracted me that's why i came <laughs> isn't it so one boy asked me did you complete your degree i said i have my certificate i finished i worked for four years also he said okay 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 he said because they cannot understand they cannot understand devotees activities and devotees are you know feel pathetic pity for their activities that's why it's like night and day day means it's it's lit up with sunlight night is dark so their activities are dark devotees activities are light is that clear thank you shri prabhupad ki mantra shrimad bhagavatam ki is grace radha shrimad bhagavatam ki jai